Hey guys, if you've seen my video, Bulking with CF, you know that I said in order to gain weight, it's really important that you calculate your daily calorie goal. Um, so you're going to go ahead and eat a calorie surplus and put on some weight. Um, I mentioned in that video that you can do it by taking the average calories you eat uh, for a week or two and then upping it, or you can use a calorie calculator. Now, most of them aren't very accurate online that you can find, but me and my dietitian got together and I have two different calorie calculators that you can use that take into account that you have a lung disease. Um, and it's for different severities and different age groups as well. So it's really accurate. Um, I'll show you the one that I found best worked for me. Uh, I put on, I guess, five pounds, four or five pounds in the last um, few weeks. So I'll go ahead and show you guys that now. All right, guys, so this is my favorite equation. I find it to be the most accurate. Um, I'm going to use 128 pounds in this equation, but I also followed this at 130 pounds and found it best to help me put on weight. So I used a male at 25 years old, 128 pounds, which is also equal to 58.2 kilograms and 40% FEV1 lung function. So this equation is called the Owen equation. And for you guys that don't know, your... Uh, it's pounds per kilograms, it's 1 to 2.2. .2. So what I did was I took my pounds at 128, I divided by 2.2, .2, and that's how I got that 58.2. And you'll see I only, I'm only using one number after the decimal point throughout the whole equation. So if you're doing this, make sure you stay consistent with your rounding. That's why I rounded to. So step one is to find the REE, and that's your resting energy expenditure. So it's going to give you the equation to do so. And you just do the 879 for males plus 10.2 times your weight. Um, and it came out to 1,472.6. In step two, we're going to find the TEE, which is your total energy requirement. And you're going to use the number you found in step one. And you're going to multiply it by the activity factor. And then you're going to multiply that by the disease factor, your injury factor is what they call it. So the way I got the activity factor is I talked to my dietitian and she said, for normal activity, it's about 1.5. Okay, if you do cardio, it's 1.7. So weight training is what I do. So that's usually, you know, it's right in the middle, 1.5, 1.7. So I used 1.6. So um, then for my injury factor, I looked on there and you see the list that says for infection, which is, you know, we get lung infection. So I use infection and I used the, a uh, little bit more than moderate, but not fully severe. So it says moderate tops out at 1.4, and severe starts at 1.4 and goes to 1.8. So I estimated my 40% lung function would be right at uh, 1.5. Now this is kind of pers personal preference. You kind of have to take your lung function and kind of guess to where it's going to fall in there. So I used 1.5. So it came out to 3,534.2. Now that is the total calories to maintain my current weight that I need each day. Now you also see in there that says you plus or minus 500 calories depending on if you want weight gain or weight loss. Now as I said before, uh, this can be plus 300 calories for low weight gain, but most of us want a lot of weight gain. So we do plus 500. So in step three, this is the desired weight gain. So I did my total calories to maintain my current weight, which is 3,534.2, and I added 500 to that number. So it comes out, you see at the bottom, 4,034.2 calories per day. So of course, don't worry about the 0.2, but I try to get 4,034 calories per day. And I still do that to this day. As you gain weight, I would say maybe every five pounds, uh, you probably need to redo this equation because as your weight gain goes up, that kilograms number is going to go up and therefore change your calories you need. Now keep that in mind whenever you're doing this for yourself. Let's move on to the next equation. All right, now here's the second equation. This is what my dietitian sent me over in the email as how she calculated my calories needed per day. I didn't find this to be the most accurate compared to the other one, but I will go ahead and show you guys this one in case you want the word straight from the dietitian. So in this one, it's um, specifically for disease coefficients and activities, so it's all uh, for patients with disease. And the cool thing about this one is it also takes in pancreatic insufficiency. So most of us take enzymes with our meals, which means you're pancreatic insufficient. So to go over this one, um, I started out with the same 25 years old male 
at 128 pounds, which is also 58.2 kilograms, 40% uh, lung function FEV1. And keep in mind, the 128 pounds is what I divided 2.2 by, or sorry, I divided 128 pounds divided by 2.2, which equals 58.2 kilograms. So in step one, you're going to find your BMR, which is basal metal metabolic rate. So it says to start out with at 15.3 for Asian years for 25 years old and a male. You start out at 15.3 and you multiply it by your kilograms, which is 58.2 in our case. And then you add 679. Now that gives you 1,569.5. In step two, you're going to do your activity plus your disease coefficients. So once again, you know, I talked to my dietitian. She said 1.5, you know, as you can see in the picture, is sedentary. And 1.7 is active. Now they consider active to be uh, full on cardio. So for me, I do weight training. So I do right in the middle at 1.6. And then in disease coefficients, with a 40% lung function, it's safe to do the severe lung disease down on the third column down there or third row. And that says 0 0.3 uh, minus 0 0.05. So that's what we did here. We did 1.6 plus, and of course you do what's in the parentheses first. So you do 0 0.3 minus 0 0.05. And you add that to 1.6. And all together it equals 1.9. Now in step 3, we do the BMR, which we found in the first step plus or times actually the uh the number we found in step two which is the 1.9 so 1569.5 times the 1.9 and it comes out to 2982.1 and step four is what we do to take um the pancreatic insufficiency if insufficiency to account so down below in the text you'll see it says you start out with 0 0.93 and you divide that by the cfa now um, this is something you would do in clinic or at the hospital, and if you don't have that number, you would just um, consider the general value to be 0 0.85. So we take 0 0.93 divided by 0 0.85, and that comes out to 1.1. And this is going to be the same for everybody, females and age group all alike. So in step 5, we're going to take the number we found in step 3, and we're going to multiply it by the number we found in step 4. And that's going to give us our calories that we need every day just to maintain our current weight. So 2,982.1 is what we found in step 3. And we're going to multiply that by 1.1, which is in step 4. And it comes out to 3,280.3 calories per day to maintain our current weight. Now, of course, in order to gain weight, we need to eat more calories than our body needs just to maintain it. So once again, we can add 300 to that if we want a moderate or low weight gain. And we can add 500 to that if we want a um, maximum weight gain, I guess you'd say. And for CF, we definitely want the maximum. Um, so we add 500 onto that. And we come out to 3,780.3 calories per day to start gaining weight. And once again, as your weight goes up, I'd say probably every 5 pounds, you should recalculate this equation because your kilograms are going to change and therefore you're going to need more calories throughout the day in order to keep gaining weight. All right, so as you guys saw in the first calculator, um, I prefer that one over the second one just because it put me a little bit above 4,000 calories, which I feel I needed to gain weight. I'd rather eat more than eat less, um, especially in our case because we are trying to put on weight and it's important that we do. So I prefer the first calculator that was uh, by Owen. Um, you guys might like the second one. Um, just go with what you feel is best suits you. And I hope you guys start putting on some weight. Let me know how everything goes. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like down below. Comment if you want to see anything else that I can do for you. And go ahead and don't be afraid to email me and ask questions or ask questions in the comments down below. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. So as you guys saw in the first calculator, um, I prefer that one over the second one just because it put me a little bit above 4,000 calories, which I feel I needed to gain weight. I'd rather eat.